Now let's create the search option in LinkedIn that we have. First step is to do that is to create a component here in common folder called search. Okay. Or maybe search users. So in this component, we will have index.html or I mean not HTML, JSX and one for styling. So index dot scss so make the jsx to a functional component and then change the name to say search users now let me import this component here i mean sorry not here let me import the styling here so index dot scss now save okay now let me uh, make this uh, input here okay yes so input this will be empty for now. So make the class name as let's say search or make a div first or maybe just remove the search users and make an input like this and give this div a class name of search users. Now save. Now let me close search users for a while and let me import this component in our top bar so we can do it here so import uh, search input or search users and okay let me create a state here so say const uh, is search and set is search let me make this as uh, empty i mean false value for now because we will not see search input basically in the i mean at the start so let me do this so when we click the search icon we should see i mean we should turn this state to true so where's the icon here it is the on click uh let's say a callback a function i mean make it to true now we have to do same thing on this set so i mean search users so let me just call the component here at the bottom. Maybe let's say where should we call this? Let me call this here. I mean search users. So we'll see input here. But the thing is we only need to see this input when this is true. So just wrap it and say if it is true, then show this. If it is false, I mean this state, show this div. So add it and I guess we should see, I mean, we should move it out after this LinkedIn image. Yes. Now click this. We will see an input here. But what if, I mean, we need a, I mean, we have to pass the function set search. Set is search here as well. So make it false from this component. So let me add it I and mean, get it from here. Now let me style this search input. So we don't need this. And let me come over here and copy search users and add it here and then say input inside that we will have say height 40 px too much say 30 that is fine width let's say 60 percent okay small let's say 100 or maybe i think height should be 100 as well here okay it's too much make it 50 then yes still too much 40 i think it's perfect now this is the background color as white smoke and then border 1px solid and say let's make the border to be b b b b b b this so we will have border here so border radius uh 10px this is now rounded but the color should be changed as well so color should be 212121. Now let me add padding left 10 pixels. Okay, it looks fine. But also we have to change the outline or basically make it none. Now if you do this, we will not see the outline. But we should have a uh, focus effect. So input focus think. 
okay we'll need only one not two then we will change the border color to be slightly darker to make i mean slide the marker down to make let's say 707070 now border will be changed now let me add a placeholder in the input so say placeholder this should be let's say uh, search users double dots and this will be here fine now we will also need to add a placeholder here and in this we will make the font size same as the input so make 16 at both places so here and here as well now we will see this but 16 is too much or maybe we need to do font family let's say enter okay so i think this should be 15 or even 14 so here also yes i guess that's fine let me add this here also yes we are having this okay one more thing we should have a margin left on the search user so margin left uh, 20 px yes it's now it it's now perfect or maybe 15 will be more perfect yes okay now we have the search users we also need an icon here so we can place the icon in this div so that we can set this to false to see the uh, to see the top bar so let me go to react icons and here let me add or choose close icon some close icon from here so we can choose this icon called ai outline close circle so let me import this from react icons slash ai now this should be on this x button i mean let me just first create it okay let me check here so we have an icon here let's make size to be 20 yes now on the click of the icon this should be false so say on click this should be false now if you click okay also i have to close this yes now click this we will see the top bar icons and then if you click it again i mean search we will see this now we have to arrange this icon so add a div around it or maybe not this just add a class name here and this should be close icon now let me copy close icon and come over here to search user wait search users here so say close icon say but first we also need to do display flex here to make them in a single row like this now in the close icon we can say margin left minus 20 px yes or maybe 25 or what if we add 30 yes 30 is fine okay now we have to make align items center to make them in a single i mean in a single row like this perfect we can close it also okay if we close this we will say this then fine now also we have to change the color so just copy the color and add it here and then make the color as b b b b b b save this and it's too light so i guess we have to use this color now we have to use this and i guess that's fine yes so it works perfectly now we need a state to handle the search input so let me create it here so say const uh, search input comma set search input equals to use state say a uh, string now let me pass this set search input in this search users and then we can simply get it from prop and on this input we will do on change like this and then we can set search input to the event dot target dot value so the event here and in here we can the event dot target dot value now save this 
now what we can do is we will have this search input as the value of the input now we will create one more div here to handle the search options that we will have so let me make a div and this div will only be visible when we have search input so first let me create the contents so make this as search results first save this now let me come over here i think we don't need this okay let's leave it come over here uh, okay not here in the top bar class here and in here we can just add this called search input this class and say width 400 pixels hide the same uh, background color as white and save so it will be here so let me close this for now so one more thing is to do here is make the position as absolute now it's on the very left then we can say left as 100 pixels and yes and top as also let's say 100 100 is too much try 70 yes i guess 70 is fine then this should be also not 100 i mean the width for not 400 say 350 or 300 yes i guess that's fine we can also make 270 or 280 or 290 i guess that's fine also height should be let's say 300 for now yes now we have this search option here so we can just make border radius 10 pixels to make them rounded and let's add a small border to so 1px solid say bb 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 save and we will have border around this we can move them to the top a little bit more so say 40 px will be top or 50 or 60 60 is fine i guess now we have to only show this when we have the data in the search users input so we can just hide this when it's empty so just copy search input and say if it is i'm mean, this if the length of search input wait if the length of this is equals to zero then show nothing if it is not zero i mean if the actual input is here show this so let me search for something called nishan and then it will be here if i close this i mean remove this this will disappear okay one more thing i want to do say if i search nishan here then I closed this input. So it will be here also. So we have to make sure that this disappears. So what we have to do is we have to just set the search input here. So we are getting it. So whenever we close the search input using this close icon, we have to close, I mean we have to make this as empty. Now let me try, let me search for Nishan. Then X and this will disappear okay that's done in here in the let me search for nishant and let me just make this as permanent for now so revert the state i mean add a exclamation mark before search input dot length check now this will be permanent and in here we will map to all the users for now so let me get the users i mean all users api call so say import get all users from this route let me create a use effect hook here with the use effect in here we will simply uh, return this function which is called get all users okay now we need a state to store the data when we are calling this function so this const users and set users equals to use state the empty array now simply pass this here and then we can map to the users here so let me come over here and say users dot map single user that we will need and then we will return a div one more div and in the div we will have one image tag first for the icon of the user so image source this will be 
user dot image link and then save this and we will have the big image for now now second thing we need here is uh, the name of the user so say user dot name now let me give this p tag a class name of name let me come over or let me give this div a class name of search inner now save this let me copy this search inner class come to top bar class and let me just do this first we will have the image so say width so should be 40 px height 40 px save and they will be smaller okay we have this image then I think 40 is too small, make it 50. Okay. Then what we need is uh, border radius 50%, object fit, object fit as cover. Yes. Now they will be rounded. So, meanwhile, also we can do to make this as auto so that it figures, I mean, it contains the data perfectly and it changes when the user list changes dynamically now in this search inner make display as flex and flex direction not direction let's say justify content face evenly yes but i think we don't need this to remove it we can just say gap between them gap 20 pixels so we will have a gap between them let me add padding as 10 pixels Yes, I guess that's fine. Okay. So, I think gap is so much. Make it 10. Okay. Then make align items center as well. Okay. I think we can remove gap and see what happens. Okay. Fine. Okay. I think we can make this as, let's say, 40 and 40. Because 50 is much bigger. I guess that's fine. Then comes the p tag which is dot name. So here we will have font family as let's say enter again. I think enter is default. So make system UI. Okay. Okay, one thing I can do is make the gap as 10 only. And make justify content center. Okay, this not looks good. I think that's fine. So I think we can decrease the height here, I mean width here. So make it 250 or 240. Okay, I guess that's better. Then if we remove padding and see what happens, okay, not work. It doesn't work. Okay. Now we have the names, so make font size as 16 px or maybe 18. Yes, they are now much better looking. Now when we hover this search inner we have to change the background color of it's a little bit darker so say search inner hover then say background color as say this baby 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 now hover them the color will change also let's add cursor as pointer like this now it's better okay and one more thing we will have here is border radius uh, 10 pixels yes it's now look it now looks fine you can add same here and see what happens in the hover class i think that's fine okay wait a sec no i don't think okay i think that's fine maybe it's not I think we can remove it from here and then see what happens. Okay, this is the problem here. Border radius should be 10 pixels should be here. Okay, let me leave it here. This radius 10 pixels. Okay. Now what we have to do is, uh, okay, if we, okay, so this is done. We have search items here. Okay, what is the next step that 
I wanted to do is if we click close, it will not open up because it's reverted. The state is reverted here. So let me now create a function here. So say const and this will be handle search. So this function will be a debounce function that will run after one second after one second of typing yes but wait a second yes this will run after one second of typing so in this function we have to filter through this users so we'll say users dot filter and then this will take a param called user a single user then we have to return this thing so basically whenever we search we will filter and each user we have to go through some checks checks so first we will convert the user value i mean all the users to a value and an array so make object of values and pass users here then we will join i mean we will just convert the data in a string from the object i mean from the array array and then we will convert it to lowercase yes so that when we type anything and the data will be inside the array we have to match them together so basically we will convert the name like nishant kumar to nishant kumar to small case and then the search input as well to small case so that it matches perfectly and then we will have includes and this will contain our search input and this I just I that said that we have to convert this into lowercase as well. So make it to lowercase. And simply it will be returned. Now let me store the data in a state called response. Or maybe searched here. Let me create a state here called const searched or maybe fill just a searched. But this will call, I mean, this will cause name clashes. So make uh, this, let's say, filtered users set filtered users. You can make this as search results as well. So it's used it also an array. So we will just have to set this search in here. But we will only store this search in here when this filtered, I mean search input is not empty. So we will make a check. So if the search users is not empty, wait. only then we will run all of this stuff. Else we will run, I will, we will set this set filtered to the real array which is called users. This here we have done this okay now all of this is happening in handle search and this function will go inside a debounced function that i will create now so now let me just map through this and we will see nothing because we have no users okay 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 so what we can do is create one more use effect hook here to handle our debounced function so this will run i mean this use effect hook will run whenever our field i mean our search input changes this state changes like this now what we have to do is just call this function so let me create one thing called let debounced equals to set timeout so whenever we are searching the set timeout will run and it will run every 1000 second i mean on 1000 second sorry 1000 second no 1000 not 1000 second one second this is millisecond okay so when we run this we should have this handle search inside like this and then we have to clear the timeout so when we unmount the component or when the component gets unmounted we have to return this so let me i mean we have to clear the timeout so clear timeout and then pass the bounce here and this will run our search 
now we can try this give it a refresh so we see this uh, we see this here so how to remove it is just make the height wait a sec what is it let me come to the bottom and see the problem here search inner search result so search okay make this as remove this now it will disappear now let's search for nishan so all of these users will come up here like this if we search for nishant kumar 2 only this user will come up here here if you remove this and close it we will see nothing now let me search for some random thing and we will see nothing so we can make sure i mean we can add a div here or maybe a p tag and say uh, what we can say let me just copy search results again and add it here and then here we can say no result found and i think we should get it here okay i think they should not be here because this is on the uh, they should this is only on when the length is zero i mean when the search input is empty so let me invert this back and think what can we do to avoid this so we have filtered users okay so mm -mm -mm. let's add this so if the length of the filtered users is zero then we will show that the result is empty i mean the array is empty or else we will map through it so if we type something like uh, no data or let me make this a div first and here we can say no data so we will see this so make sure to add that make sure to add this class name here so that it comes like this so maybe we can change this to no results found and you will get it here so now let me search for nishan and we will get the data here like this after one second uh, basically yes i guess we are doing it one more thing so if we click a user from here we should be on this user's profile page so we can do that by passing a state so on this let me create a function here so this should be called as const uh, open user and when we click i mean when the function runs we will navigate to the profile page with the user's id and email so let me come over here and on this div search inner say on click open user and in here we can simply pass this user the current user that we have okay so now come over here and have user then we can say navigate to profile page and then we can have a state and in the state we will have id which will be user dot id then we will have a state i mean another state called email which will be user dot i think it's email or user email let me check come to this component called profile card okay not profile card posts card here we will have a state so it's user id and user email so let me copy okay it's from posts not from this so i guess we can close this this and make this as simply id and let's say user email but let me check if it is correct component or not i think it is or maybe it's just user id and user email to so make the id here as user id and we already have user email now we can try this so click let's say nishant kumar at the last one okay let me give it a refresh let me search for Nishant. Now let me click the last one. 
Okay, so we are having on our own page. So I guess this is ID, not user ID. Now let me check again. Click, I mean search for user. Let me click Nishant Kumar in the middle. Okay, we already we are having on this page only. So why it is happening? We are passing the user. Okay. Let me check this uh, array called users and see the correct state that we need to pass i mean correct values so we have an array here with three elements inside so we have id okay we also have okay i think we are passing the id yes one sec id is this and email is this Okay, name is navigating to that page. It's working here, but not here. So ID is this, okay. And I think the email is, okay, we have email, not user email. Yes. Now let's see if it works or not. So search for Nishant. Sir, I mean, click the last one. Yes, now it's working. We are on this users page. Then let me click Nishant, I mean search and click Nishant Kumar in the middle and we will be on that users page so we'll see nothing because we have no posts here so that was how we added search functionality in our application